This is your roving reporter reporting from high atop Carmel Hill. Hill. This Again. is your roving reporter reporting high atop Carmel Hill, where near disaster has what was a once a beautifully manicured yard has now turned to disaster as those rain and storm has taken down the fence in the back area of the breakthrough site. And as fate would have it, some of the teaching staff's favorite room, room 11, has had disaster hit as well. Here on the floor you find a large red bucket. Inside is water. Yes, indeed, the ceiling is leaking. We need roof people. We need help to save this poor, beautiful building. The ever-present debris is found everywhere. Here, after a weekend was spent of men loving each other and finding their little boys, and Kevin Dupuy and his beautiful team coming and cleaning the grounds, it is now a disaster. We take you now to our man on the ground at the epicenter of the disaster. I'm standing here at the epicenter of the disaster where all the bad things have happened in the front yard of the breakthrough site. Let me just show you some of the horrible, horrible things that are here. It's the upended bottom of a tree. Oh, heck. There it is, fell in the parking lot, just inches away from something that it could have hit. And oh, look, a second tree has gone down as well. I know this is going to be heartbreaking for many of you, but some of the flags have been destroyed as well along the way. We're just going to have to do the best we can. The beautiful parking lot that was just clear just days ago is covered in debris. The heavy equipment is here to help move things away, but we need long the breakthrough announced that you have just read. You see the times and the dates in which to meet here at the site and clean things up and get it ready for the new classes coming this weekend and next. Please make it a chat, make it, make it your choice to call and to show up and to be there with chainsaws and all the stuff you need to clean with and be there to help. God bless us all.